This is the 2024 Acura MDX Type S Advance with super handling all wheel drive. This now being in its junior year, we still get lots of great technology features and updates for this 2024 model year. So is this $74,000 MDX Type S the one to go over the standard MDX? Let's go ahead and find out. All right now, let's get things started with the pricing, trim level, and CC choice. Today we have the best MDX you can buy, period. The Type S Advance. This means you will get lots of exclusive features and Acura First features like nine-way massaging quilted leather seats and an air suspension on all four corners. Priced as you see it here, $74,995, including destination. So I would go for the Type S Advance. I'm going all in if I'm gonna buy a Type S and spend this kind of money. All right, time to get things started with the styling. So the MDX Type S is a very stylish three row crossover that obviously carries over from the A spec. Starting with the grill, this looks a little bit different. However, it is the same old exploding diamond grill design, but since this is a Type S, you get the open surface finish which means that the diamonds are open and you can stick a finger through it or something like that. This allows for 10% more cooling to the turbo engine. Now, the grill surrounds will be painted because this is a Type S Advance. And down below, you will also get the same open surface finish and the same functionality. Now, the interesting thing is the side vents under the headlights will be opened up because on the normal MDX, these will be closed. Like every other Acura, the MDX Type S gets the signature jewel-eyed LED headlights with the LED turn signal and fog lights below. And coming to the wheels, this is where another Acura first feature is exposed. We have 21 inch alloy wheels with a split spoke design and red 14.3 inch Brembo brakes up behind it. These will also be wrapped in performance tires by Continental. All right, now moving on to the side profile, you will notice that the MDX Type S has a very bold and handsome design. The fender treatment above the wheels will be in gloss black instead of that matte black plastic and everything else will be blacked out for the Type S model. Coming to our mirrors, these will be in gloss black as well and will have a mirror turn signal. As far as the functionality these goes, these will be heated, auto dimming, blind spot monitoring, and power folding. As far as other features, it will have colored to match door handles with the door cup lights. And it will also have blacked out roof rails. On now top. coming to the back, the MDX Type S will also have a very handsome and very sporty design. The best thing about this rear design is that you do have quad exhaust and a rear diffuser. And coming to our taillights, this will also have Acura's signature chicane design with the solid top brake light. All these elements will be completely LED. Now coming to the interior, this is why you buy an MDX Type S Advance for the real luxury of the inside. So I've got to say, this is the fanciest Acura out there at the moment. Starting with the door panel, you will have soft touch plastic along the top and this part will be made of leather rut along with the armrest and this padding by your knee. You will also have this beautiful wood trim and three-person memory seats. Now, all of your switch gear will be located down there, and you do have a good amount of storage down below, and this part is going to be in plastic. You will also have Type S door sills there and carpet mats. 
Now coming to the seats, these will be really fancy. This is quilted leather, first on an Acura, and you have this really cool red contrast stitching. These seat adjustments will be 16 ways of power adjusting, and as an Acura first, it gets nine-way massage function. So that brings it up to 25 ways of power adjusting, and that is absolutely insane. These will also be made of premium Moana leather. All right, now time to move on to the real stuff on the interior. This steering wheel will be made of perforated leather on the sides. You'll have Type S branding right there and a flat bottom to make it even sportier. This will be heated and you have your volume controls and Bluetooth settings on the left and your cruise control settings on the right. Coming to your gauge clusters, you will have to use this um, little thing right there to control it. Only the right side is adjustable. So if you go to gauge settings and then you could go to gauge layout, you could have advanced or crafted. We're doing advanced because we are in a type S advance and it will also change depending on your drive mode. Okay, we'll say normal for now so we can be fuel efficient. We don't want to run out of gas before a test drive. Materials time. Soft touch leatherettes along the top. You also will have nice wood trim here. A lot of gloss black plastic. More gloss black plastic. This is all gloss black plastic. Not a fan of this. Like, like you got fingerprints. It attracts dust. And... A glare from the sun we don't have that right now but this part in the middle area will be made of matte black plastic and also my 40 ounce water bottle will fit here and now let's move on over to the infotainment system so this is a really weird setup and I have some uh, quite a few things to explain to you you use this trackpad and then where you touch on the trackpad corresponds to on the screen. So you don't have to drag a mouse all the way over to system updates. You just push the bottom right corner of the touchpad. And if you want navigation, you just push the top left corner. You also will have a split screen and just control it with the other part of the touchpad. And while we do that, in reverse, you will have a 360 backup camera with active trajectory and two different views. Actually, well, you could have different angles of the backup camera, put that in park, and then push that special button on the side of the wiper switch. And then you also will get that um, forward facing camera or the wheels. Um, those are those beautiful 20 inch alloy wheels. They look great right now. And I am in park. So that all works. Go to home. Now let's go ahead and let me show you the navigation. Let's see, find. You could go to search. Maybe let's try Starbucks. Or I could use the keyboard. This might take a little bit and it will distract the driver. So let's just not for now. You will have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. That's all I'm going to say now. Um, let's look at this big knob right there. This controls your dynamic modes. If you go into Sport Plus, that will, uh, you know, lower the exhaust note and all of that. Sport. I love the animations. You also have snow and lift. I have to mention that you do have an air suspension with this. Mm. 
Now I know for sure that that is an accurate first thing. Now let's take a look at the climate controls. This will be more important than usual. You do have dual zone in the front and you can control it with these little toggles here. Of course you can do that with the passenger side too. And you can control the rear settings. And you got your different modes, different fan speed, and it's pretty straightforward. You also have rear lock, we'll turn that off, and front and rear defrost. No, 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 we're not doing that. Okay. Now, you got heated, uh, heated seats, three stages, ventilated seats, auto seats. So apparently, it's hot enough for two stages of ventilated seats, not that hot outside. But you have nine ways of massaging seats, so we'll hold that down, and then you can control it right here. So, yeah, nine ways. Okay, yeah, I think I'll stick with Zen right now. You can also control the intensity. I'll put it on stage two. Before I forget, you have a wireless phone charger here. Storage time. I know this came a little bit late. And you have a decent amount of storage space. You've got the 12 volt power outlet. Not sure who uses those these days. Um, you've got a USB A. And yeah, that's a pretty good amount of space. If you push that button there, you have a little pen holder, maybe an iPhone 14 Pro. I have a 14 Pro Max, so you may, you can definitely not fit that in there. The other um, connectivity ports are right here. I love how it pops up. That's really clever of them. Because you don't always want to see that there if you don't need it. You just push it, and then you have USB-A and USB-C. My iPhone came with USB-C cable, so I'm glad that they included that. That actually is the only one in the whole car. But anyway, up top, you do have controls to open a panoramic sunroof. All right, time for the passenger side. If you're lucky enough to get this, then that's something because you have a lot of stuff to enjoy up here. So door panel, uh, same soft touch plastic, wood trim, Three-person memory seats. That is pretty good for seventy-four thousand. Um, this is one of twenty-five speakers in this whole car. I think that is pretty awesome because our MDX Advance has only sixteen, and everything is about the same. Same amount of storage. You've got the same quilted leather seats. Uh, Sixteen ways of power adjusting. You've got bolster, thigh extension. You also have the twelve-volt power outlet down here. And this will be gloss black plastic. All right. I really love how, like, everything is leather around here. And if you're lucky enough to sit up here, you do have a massage. All right. Now enough of this stuff about massages. Ooh, you have a new glove box handle. I think that's pretty cool. The one in the normal one is made of the same material. But you've got owner's manual. Not sure what that is. But a lot of space in here. I think that's pretty good. Let me just pick that up. I love the red contrast stitching on the dash and the door. And I think that's pretty much it. All right. So this is why you buy an MDX Type S. I fussed over how the TLX Type S is not a family uh, car. But this is a family car. So in the back seat for the second row, you have a nice door panel with sunshades. And you have got the same wood trim, leather wrapped, and a good amount of storage down there. These seats will be made of the same quilted leather. And these will slide and they will recline. So pretty nice. All right. You may notice that I do not have a lot of legroom. That is fine because this seat is slid all the way back and reclined quite a bit. So I do not have a lot of space. So I'll be demonstrating on this side. You have a seat back pocket. Seats are made of hard plastic on the back. I 
I would hope that the seats are not made of hard plastic in the front. Down here, we've got the 12 volt power outlet, two USB A's, and let's see. All right, there we go. You have a little household style outlet. You have to twist it to get it in there. As far as the seats, uh, you got three stages of heated seats. Ventilated seats are missing. I guess they're not ready to do that yet. And you've got a single zone of climate control. Overall, pretty nice back here. And you can look at the stars with the panoramic sunroof. This seat is very important. And why I say that is it has a lot of different adjustments. So this can be an armrest. You can store two drinks there. In fact, let me just grab my water bottle, see if I can fit. 40 ounce water bottle and I can maybe not as nicely as the front but I can fit a 40 ounce water bottle in these cup holders Let's just put it there for now you could put a couple phones there and this could also be a seat that's really comfortable and you just fold it down by pulling that lever and you can remove it and I think that is so cool a removable middle seat that is just the coolest thing in this segment all right this is the other reason why you buy the mdx type s over the tlx you have a third row and getting in cannot be any simpler you push the button and the seat will collapse and slide forward you cannot do this with a car seat in place but let me go ahead and get in here close the door and all and I do have a good amount of space with the seat at its normal position. Not a whole lot of space, but I can live with it. These are only two seats, so don't really be tricked by this thing in the middle. Amenities back here, not so great. You've got a cup holder. This is plastic. I love this felt lining though for 2024. You also have a USB-A on both sides that's basically it to get out you just push that button and you're out to open the trunk acura will provide a hands-free operating system so you kick your foot under there and then the trunk will open right up and now let's go ahead and take a look back here so this is the other reason why you buy the acura mdx type s over the tlx so Let's go ahead and take a look here. 16.3 cubic feet of cargo room with the third row up. Now, I do have quite a few things to show you. With this boss floor, you can take it and you can flip it over for a plastic um, thing so that you can store sandy things on it. Or you can put it at the bottom if you might need a little bit more space. Other than that, you will also have a little cubby to the side. And as far as folding down the seats go, it's really simple. You just take this and then you put it down like that. And for the other one, same thing. Now you do have to go over and do it for the second row manually. So let me just go ahead and do that really quick. And once all the seats are down, you will get a whopping 95 cubic feet of cargo room. And that is exactly the same as what you would get in a normal MDX. All right, now time to get under the hood of the MDX Type S. So this is why you would buy a Type S for the extra performance. And this MDX really has it. You have a three liter inline six turbocharged of course, you wouldn't get any power out of a 3-liter inline 6, but this is turbocharged, putting out 355 horsepower, 354 pound-feet of torque, made it to an upgraded 10-speed automatic transmission to handle the extra power. So, this is a lot more than the normal MGX, and will get you from 0 to 60 in about 5.5 seconds. And... Fuel economy will suffer a little bit. 17 in the city, 21 on the highway, 19 combined. And I do want to mention that you will not be losing any power if you go the MDX route. This is the same exact amount of horsepower and torque that you would 
find in a TLX Type S. Now when it comes to the competition for the MDX Type S, you will obviously have the same competitors only in the performance form. So the Audi Q7 and the Volvo XC90, for example, they, those would compete directly with this car if you get it in the performance trim level. Those are two of some of the main competitors. You do also have the Cadillac XT6 Sport and like a couple other cars maybe the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, but I don't know if they really count that. So tell me what you think down below about what cars should compete with this car. Now let's talk about super handling all wheel drive because this is what is so important to the Type S. So super handling all wheel drive has been upgraded for the Type S because it has the ability to push power 70% to the rear wheels and of that 70% 100% to one single wheel and this will be able to take a corner 2.9% better and also this will improve snow traction and handling this will actually almost act like four wheel steering so let's get into some when it more. comes to the dimensions Acura will give you the same exact dimensions as the normal MDX so you will get 198 inches in length and 78 inches in width. all right guys this has been one of the best days at Fox Acura of Ann Arbor filming this Acura MDX type S advance I'm so grateful to Mike at Fox Acura for letting me film this car special shout out to him his information is in the description below and I want to thank you all so much for watching this video on the Acura MDX Type S. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great night or day or afternoon. Whatever it is for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.